Hello and welcome. This is Angie with CountrySheetCottage.net here today with another great Cricut project. So today we are going to make this leather journal all with our Cricut machine including adding everyday iron-on uh, in a cute design to the leather and cutting our own paper as well as scoring it to fold it. Now this video is sponsored by Cricut and it's in celebration of some really great deals on HSN including the Cricut Maker the brand new scoring wheel as well as the knife blade if you don't have that yet. So there are some really great deals and really great bundles. You can head to the blog to see all about those. In the meantime, let's get started making the project. The supplies you will need are as follows. Some Cricut leather in the color of your choice. Cricut foil poster board again in the color of your choice. Some cardstock for the inside of your journal in the color of your choice. The 12 by 24 comes out a little better on material usage if you want to go for the larger sheet sizes. Some white everyday iron-on. You'll also need some parchment paper. You might want to pick up some weeding tools to weed your vinyl. You will probably need a craft knife and you will need some needle and thread. Start by cutting your pieces using your Cricut machine. The leather is cut into the cover for the journal. You might have to use your craft knife to get into some of these smaller pieces to get them removed. Just use the craft knife to go into the leather and remove those pieces. Now, I did use a garment leather setting on this Cricut leather, but I had to do two extra passes with the knife blade. So the knife blade makes this super simple to cut, but you may need a couple extra passes to get a complete cut. Just check your cut around the outside edges. Then you'll cut nine pieces for the inside of your journal. Each one will be scored down the center with the scoring wheel. you also need a piece of metallic poster board cut to size and the Cricut will also score it. Now the foil poster board uses the double scoring wheel to make folding easier. Then you also need to cut your everyday iron on into the shape desired. You'll need to use your weeding tool to remove all those excess bits and pieces and then you're ready to iron it on. Now for ironing this on to your journal cover, we recommend the Cricut Easy Press to ensure success. So let's do that now. So first I have my Easy Press mat. Then we'll have our cut piece of leather. Now this is the front of your journal and this is the back. And you'll want to position the iron on into place, spanning the front and the back. These holes run down the center. We we'll also want to protect this other area from heat. So I'm going to actually lay a piece of parchment paper across the entire thing. Then look up recommended settings for your Easy Press. Be sure you look at the chart that uses the Easy Press mat or not, depending on whether you're using it or not. And then set your Easy Press to those settings. And then begin to press. Always just use slight pressure when working with leather as you do not want to emboss it in the shape of the Easy Press. When it beeps, remove the Easy Press. Remove your parchment paper. The Everyday Iron-On is a warm peel so you can peel it while the project is still hot. And your Iron-On has been added to the leather. Now for this one hole in the center here, the iron-on is overlapping, so I'll just cut the iron-on away in that area. And that should work for our needs. Now we can set this piece apart to cool and start working on our paper. For the white sheets of paper, we want to fold each of those in half. It is easiest to go towards the score line when you're doing this. And we're going to put these in stacks of three. So there are nine pieces and we're going to put them in three stacks of three. So now we have our three stacks of three. 
to make a journal. You'll also need to fold your foil poster board. I scored on the shiny side of this poster board because I'm going to fold it into the fold. This actually lines the inside of our leather. So we're going to fold both of those. And with the two lines, it makes a perfect size to fit our paper into. And then this whole thing will go inside of the journal. So first we need to add this foil piece to the inside of the journal cover. So I'm going to use a quick setting glue to actually add the foil inside of the journal cover. You're just going to make sure that the folds on the foil piece line up with the holes that run down the center of your journal cover. Then you just want to make sure it's straight and press it down well. Using a quick dry adhesive will make this portion of your project super quick. Once you have that glued, you can flip the entire thing over. And we're going to use a craft knife in each of these holes to score through the foil poster board. This may take a couple of passes. You just score it, flip it over, and make sure that you have holes on this side. Now we'll need holes in each sheet of paper, approximately where these slits are located. So you can take, take each folded piece of paper, mark, mark the slits, and then just add a hole with something like a straight pen. This will make it easier to get your needle through when we start to sew the journal. All right now we have our three stacks of three with all with holes and they're ready to be sewn into our journal cover. We're going to knot the end so we're going to start on the inside of the journal to make sure that the knot is hidden. So start on the inside of one of your stack of three going through the holes that you created. It is handy to have a thimble on hand so if your holes do not perfectly line up you can push it through with those. So we went through the paper and now we'll go through the top slit. The slit that's through the foil as well as the journal cover. Then we'll go to the second slit, through the journal cover first, then through the foil paper, then through your stack of three. Continue down with this first stack of paper. Now when you get to this last slit, go back to the slit above it, go through once again. Then we'll come up through that last slit one more time, but instead of coming into this set of three papers, we'll come into this set of three papers. Then just continue in the same manner. Continue until all your pages in your journal. Be sure to end on the inside so that you can notch your thread off to the inside page. Now you have a completed journal, you just need something to close it. To hold your journal closed, all you need is a pen. First of all, use a craft knife under this portion of your journal, just in case you got any adhesive in this area, loosen it, and then you can pull up on that portion of the journal, close your flap, add your pen, 
underneath that portion of the journal. And now your journal is held closed and ready for writing. So making this leather journal is super easy, but only with the Cricut Maker. So the knife blade helps you cut that leather into the proper shape for the cover, and that scoring wheel is going to help you make those pages for the inside and get them just right and folded correctly. So if you have a chance today, be sure to head over to HSN to check out those bundles. Catching this later, and HSN doesn't have the bundles anymore, then just head to Cricut.com and purchase the materials you need. Either way, you're going to want to be sure to make a leather journal for yourself, some for gifts, all that kind of thing. So be sure to pick out the supplies to do so. Also, be sure to give us a thumbs up on YouTube, like this video, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe on YouTube for more great Cricut crafts all the time right here. You can also check out our past Cricut videos on the YouTube channel. I'm sure you'll find something you'll like. If you pick up the Cricut Maker today from HSN, we have tons of tutorials to get you started and to make sure that you know how to use your machine to create great projects like this. Thank you all so much for joining me today.